Hey guys, this is Brent with Lockett's Motorsports. This is our Shelby FE block for our 500 and it's either 10 or 11, I can't remember. Cubic inch FE, we're using the new uh, FE power cylinder heads and this is gonna be a pretty warmed up engine. Um, dry sump and uh, cross, um, what do they call that? Uh, the, the EFI with the, uh, the stacks that are kind of uh, angled towards each other, so um solid roller camshaft and a bunch of uh good parts inside uh a custom bryant billet crank uh, we got some cali's rods and we got some diamond pistons block has already been machined and prepped uh, we've got our custom solid roller camshaft in there made from a, a billet round load core and um some pretty spicy specs on those we got our new a uh, steel cam thrust plate that's been uh, surface ground to the correct thickness. And we've got some uh, ARP um, thrust plate bolts from Precision Oil Pumps. Uh, on the Shelby block, you don't have to worry about checking clearance on or depth on, on your bolts because the passage that feeds the distributor gear um, it doesn't have anything to do with these, these bolts. If you notice, the bolt location is, is kind of... Um, turned from normal FE uh, use, so um, it kind of simplifies things. Um, let's take a look at the pistons that came in. Okay, the pistons are from Diamond. I buy a lot of my high-end pistons from, from Diamond Pistons. Um, here's the the list of things that we, we ordered here. Uh, custom dish piston. Uh, we had vertical gas ports, since this is a, a dry sump engine that'll be pulling vacuum on the crankcase. This internal maxi light option just means that they went underneath uh, the crown, around the pin boss, that sort of thing, and lightened these pistons up. Uh, we had uh, pin fit, uh, wire locks for uh, the, um, the, I'm having trouble speaking today. Uh, for the for the wrist pins, uh, total seal piston rings, and some trend DLC coated tool steel wrist pins. So uh, the tool steel is for strength. The DLC is for um, what happens when you have a dry sump or a vacuum pump situation. You're pulling a lot of vacuum. Uh, there's a possibility that you can uh, take away oil splash from from the wrist pins and from the pistons so uh, we coat these so that they will continue to, to live and survive well and um, these are almost brand spanking new 6223 but uh, those come from trend these are not cheap <laughs> at all um, and as a matter of fact, the entire piston kit with the rings and everything was well over $2,000. So, uh, just high quality stuff. Take a look at the piston. These have reliefs for uh, Jay Brown's heads. And we got a nice uh, spherical dish to get the compression ratio that, uh, that we need. The chambers are pretty small. The engine is pretty big and we were aiming for around 11 to 1 compression ratio so i think we're at 32 cc dish on this here you see all that internal working to lighten these pistons up and the vertical gas ports um your, your gas ports whether they be uh, lateral or vertical help add some sealing uh not c-e-i-l-i-n-g but uh, s-e-a-l-i-n-g so better ring seal, and uh, when you pull vacuum from underneath of it, uh, you're eliminating any uh, losses in, in pumping. So real nice piece, 4375 bore. So the goal for this uh, video will be to uh, get all the pistons measured and weighed, and we're going to double check our uh, piston to cylinder wall clearance, and we're going to get our rings filed. So uh, we're dealing with a, uh, these are total seal rings, 4375 bore, and we went with a 113 millimeter combination. So 
let's get to work. Okay, you got these guys out and cleaned and um, laid out kind of how I'm going to have them in the engine. Take note on some of these engines and some of these pistons that uh, the valve reliefs may not be symmetrical. Or So on an FE, the exhaust valves are on the outside and they're symmetrical about this axis right here. So this can ruin your day pretty quickly um, if you don't have uh, the pistons in the right spots. So that's how uh, they're set up in a Ford FE. I'm gonna get these measured and weighed and uh, we'll move right along. So we're sitting pretty much right at 500 grams for these guys. Pretty light piston considering it's a 4375 bore. Um, using a 6800 rod with these, uh, the um, compression height is uh, 1225, so pretty small piston. And we got all of our pistons measured up. Uh, there's basically one ten thousandth of an inch variation between all eight. So I get a lot of guys ordering custom pistons and the machinists that they're working with uh, are, are so adamant about getting the pistons in before they do the block work. That is old school ways of thinking and um, it's not necessary. Years and years and years and decades ago, Pistons did vary by, you know, a thousandth of an inch or so, so you would have to fit the cylinders to the pistons. Now, they do not, as, as I showed you. Uh, 3689, 3690, 3690, 3689, 89, 90, 90, 90, 90. This is typical, okay? this I haven't seen any variations past one or two ten thousandths of an inch in, in well... I can't remember the last time. So next time your shop is jumping up and down that they have to have the pistons first, you generally want your block machined first. There are so many surprises that you will find sometimes um, when machining a block. Sometimes the deck heights are, are just totally cattywampus from one side to the other. Sometimes there's uh, something in a cylinder that you can't get out. So the block work needs to be done first and then the parts need to be ordered. All right, so uh, board gauge says we have um, about six thousandths piston to cylinder clearance. So that's what diamond spec for these pistons. And we're in good shape there. It's You always need to, uh, to verify that your machinist did things correctly. So uh, we got that checked off. Uh, next thing to do is just uh, file the piston rings. I'm not going to bore you with that. It is a tedious and boring job. I do not like it. But uh, for you always have to keep in mind what your gaps need to be, and that's kind of based off of how much horsepower you're going to make. Um, for this engine, uh, we're going to set the top ring end gap at five thousandths per inch of bore, and the second ring at five and a half thou per inch of bore. So I'll get those dimensions and um, calculate it out and get my machine uh squared away and um we'll get our rings filed all right guys this is video number two for for this week i appreciate you watching and uh thanks for hanging in there with me uh things come together slowly but they still end up coming together so we just have to be patient hope you guys are having a good week and we'll have a good weekend i'll talk to you soon